Hey guys, this is my from Civil Center, and I'm back with the next episode of this uh, Revit uh, software. And you can find out the list of all the previous episodes in the description if you are watching this for the first time. And also, do consider subscribing our channel because we upload regular videos on various topics related to civil engineering. So, with that, let's get started. Now, today uh, we will just complete the door and window schedule of this particular building in the Revit software, and also uh, let's we'll try to work on some sheet parts so for the schedules we'll just simply go to here and then right click and then uh, go to new schedule here and then architecture here you can select this architecture here and untick everything and then go to windows and select this window schedule schedule building components okay and now we can select the parameters which you want let's add uh, one by one let's add cost and then a family you can add family and type you can add this and then the height you can add you can add the let's add the seal height and then then the if you have the width we'll add the width also and if you want you can add any other thing also type mark let's add this type mark as well so we want to keep this type mark to the top just move it to the top and we'll move this cost to the bottom with the bottom and then uh, family and type and then width width i want to do it here width height and seal height this will be this and in this cost uh we'll go to filter and sorting and grouping sorting and grouping sort by uh, type mark and then uh, you can see this ascending descending sort by type mark and cost you will have this various uh, options here and appearance also will have this option and in the grand total and if when you do this uh, sort by you know this type mark you will avoid these there are duplicates and all the grand total uh, will have here this title count and totals will have your totals only and then we'll have if you want to add anything more you can add just click on ok and we'll have the schedule so uh, like you'll have this w so we have this ventilator two ventilators here and you'll have this width and you'll have this height here so cost uh, we can just insert the cost here so let's insert 3000 for the ventilators and it will apply it in all the items of the ventilators w1 let's apply the cost of w1 as uh, uh, this is a 5 feet window so we'll apply uh, 6000 for the w1 and let's apply 5000 for the w2 this 5000 will be applied for w2 now now you can just uh, go to this window schedule here and in this just click on here in the schedules option you just click on here the properties will come and now you can go to the fields option as you can see and then go to filter sorting grouping and this in this just uh, untick this item and then you will have this uh, we now we have you know w w1 w2 so we duplicate items are removed so now again we'll just go to this formatting option and uh, as you can see we'll have this uh, various options here fields filter sorting grouping so here we can uh, just add more calculations to it so let's go to the cost here and uh, here the no calculation value and calculate uh, you know this calculate totals we'll just add here and then okay so as you can see the cost uh, is added here so so now if you also want the uh, number of windows and windows doors so you can go to this fields option and then uh, this we'll have this formatting options or you can go to sorting and grouping and this in will change this to title count and totals and then you will have the grand total number of doors window sorry windows and ventilators will have here and you will also have the total cost so like this you have this window schedule uh, now similarly we can make the door kit schedule as well so uh, before making the door schedule let's open the level 2 plan uh, in which we have the actual uh, doors and windows here this one so this is the doors and windows which you are having so uh, now we can uh, simply make the uh, door schedule here go back to 3d and here in the schedules option we'll add 
new schedules and uh, he will d will just type d d for doors door schedules and then click on okay and then also we'll have the same things i will have the cost we'll have the family and type we'll have the height we'll have the seal height will be zero here so you can also have the level if you want uh, but we here only have one level so uh, this we will take seal height and type mark and uh, the width and the cost already have taken so i want to type mark to be at the top and then the cost to be at the bottom and uh, the width can go up and uh, so this will be my components and uh, after that let's uh, do the settings here in the sorting and grouping sort by type mark and then itemize every instance i'll just untick this and uh, formatting formatting for the cost we'll just add the calculate totals and uh, in this also sorting this grand totals title count and totals we'll just do this okay so after that as you can see uh, we have uh, here two kinds of doors here one is d that is the three feet door another is the four two feet six inch door so if you want to change this you can also change the number here so just change this to d1 so now we have this two time two, two kinds of doors here so one is d another is d1 the two feet six inch door and the other normal door so as you can see we have the family and type we have the width with the height and we have the seal height and the cost so we are having the door and window schedule here so if you want in the if you want to just present it in a sheet you can do that also let's go to sheets here and sheets and quantities and you can just select the new sheet and here as you can see you have options of sheets but i want to select a new sheet and uh, you can go back to this english imperial as you can see here we'll have this libraries and uh, we'll have this english imperial or english libraries and then us and then title blocks and then you have the various sizes here so suppose you want uh, a4 or a2 or a1 size you can take this i'm taking an a2 size okay and then click on okay and my sheet has been opened so you can take any sizes of that so after that uh, i'll add my plans and i'll add my uh, door window schedule in one particular sheet so for that let me go to level 2 first of this uh, this plan i want to add along with the furniture and another plan which i have here as you can see this level 2 one is the furniture layout this one i want to add on this one i want to add so let me just add one of it add this one so before you know adding that i'll just what i'll do is i'll just select the camera and i'll just bring it close so that you know the when i copy the view in the particular 3d option it is closer and just select this and do it like this and also i'll just select this and uh, go to hide in view by categories so the view is hidden here so i want to just go to this my particular sheet which i have created here and then drag this here so i will drag this here so this is my particular plan and after my plan a uh, plan has been created if you want any changes you can do the do it in the particular sheet like uh, if you want to move this kitchen and bedroom the written uh, text somewhere else you can do it in this particular level itself so just try the select this so after selecting this you can just have this option of you go to modify an option of move and simply just move this uh, to a comfortable position where you have uh, you know just select this move can you also use your uh, just select this and little bit you can move this so 
so like this you can move so once you have done this you can uh, just uh, look at in your sheet here so as you can see the sheet has been changed so that is the beauty of rabbit that all things are connected so now if you want the schedules here so i'll just go here and to the schedules here i'll just copy the door schedule let me just paste the door schedule here and the window schedule so like this i have pasted the window schedule so like this you can find the door schedule and the window schedule in a single sheet and you can save the sheet and then you can print out so friends in today's video we have learned how to do and perform the door and window schedule and then assemble it in a particular sheet in the Revit software so if you want more such videos stay tuned to our channel for the upcoming series bye bye